Dr. Bernstein, I wanted to focus a bit on the state fiscal relief issue, which you talked about. The governor of Connecticut, where I come from, just uh, announced a special session of the legislature in the next few weeks to talk about $300 million in spending uh, reductions, deficit reduction. Governor uh, Duval Patrick up the road in Massachusetts has announced a billion uh, dollars of, of deficit reduction. And th the feeling from most people in those states is that really this is just the first round uh, of uh, deficit reduction, that there's actually going to be even harder choices uh, being made. You talked about in your testimony the impact of, of this trend that it would, quote, deepen the negative cycle. And I was wondering if you could just elaborate a little bit more about how that aggravates a recession. Yeah, thank you. That's a great, great question. The, the states have to balance their budgets, as you well know. And so uh, at a time of economic distress, when their tax revenues are constrained by the diminished consumption that Mr. Blackwell mentioned, by lower property taxes, uh, lower sales taxes, lower income taxes, uh, the only way they can do so is by, uh, 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 th they have th three, three channels. One is to tap rainy day funds, and they're doing, doing that. Uh, the other two are to raise taxes or to cut services, meaning uh, directly cut uh, uh, services to uh, uh, publicly provided services to their citizens, um, typically in the form of uh, lower uh, public employment. Uh, so that, that deepens the economic cycle that, uh, that Ron and others have talked about. That's precisely the opposite kinds of interventions uh, you'd like to see. Um, I'll just note on top of that uh, that uh, the other dimension, there's a credit crunch out there, as we all know, and the other dimension of that is that this has significantly raised the cost of borrowing for states. And even though they have sterling borrowing records, uh, very rarely default, they're, paying, they're facing much higher interest uh, rates on their bond issues, and this too is leading uh, to cutbacks. I'll give you one example from a new uh, study by uh, John Irons and, and Ethan Pollock at EPI. Uh, the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Washington Author Airports Authority recently po po postponed plans for a $2.2 billion bond sale to expand the terminals at Dulles and Reagan National, foregone infrastructure projects which have so far uh, been estimated to total $100 billion, resulting in more unemployment, less demand for goods and services, and less overall economic activity. Uh, that I I is going on in, in at least uh, uh, 30 states at this point, those type types of reductions. 